Hello everybody. The year is coming to an end and yeah, I have not done a top 10 for a long time. I'm gonna give you two top 10s uh, to close out the year. And uh, we'll start today with the top 10 jerseys of 2018. Uh, and tomorrow I will give you my top 10 moments of 2018. Um, very personally colored, but you know, those were my, from a soccer perspective, uh, biggest moments. But that comes tomorrow. Today we're looking at the best jerseys of 2018 and um, some rules. I use only jerseys that were issued for national teams ahead of the World Cup. So uh, if they would have qualified at the World Cup, they would have worn those at the World Cup potentially. Um, and yeah, so they could have been issued late last year, but they were meant to be. For this year and for um, club teams, uh, jerseys for the 2018-19 season. So also they were issued earlier this year. So basically jerseys, it's not really jerseys issued this year. But so I won't feature anything from 17-18 season what was worn in the Champions League earlier uh, this year. I know it's a little bit tricky, but that's how I decided to do it because uh, uh, otherwise it gets way too messy and I just want to keep it a little bit easier on me. The list was uh, really hard to compile. I had to run uh, through my blog, all my videos, uh, kind of some personal stuff uh, to also uncover some jerseys that I actually have not covered in any way. Uh, and I'm sure I've forgotten some that probably really look great, um, but I just didn't get to them. So let's get right to it. Uh, it's as usual, I'll give you my uh, top 10 and after number four, we're gonna look at some honorable mentions, which there are five of, so let's get right to it. Number 10 is the Mexico away jersey, uh, which is funnily enough, the only jersey that I gave um, a 10 star rating at the World Cup of, um, but I have to say the it was maybe a little bit too high. I still love this jersey. Um, the white and then you have the um, red and the green bands. It reminds me a lot about the Hungary jersey from uh, the 50s and 60s. The classic Hungary away look that I don't know why Hungary is getting away from. Um, it just has the band reverse, so you have the red on top and I think the green on bottom and Hungary has it the other way. It's plain, but it's an absolute beauty, this jersey. Uh, cannot overstate it. The only thing that I don't like is that the number on the front is kind of squeezed here under the collar and that it's worn with red pants. If that was worn with green pants, that would be the perfect look for me. But uh, other than that, this is an absolute beauty. Um, I think Mexico should have an away jersey like that in all eternity from now. That's always a good criterion to put it on the top 10 list. Number nine, uh, a little bit of a surprise probably, is the Levante home jersey. And it's mostly on this list because I find this would be the perfect Barcelona jersey. Uh, I absolutely love this Macron kit. Uh, it has the Barcelona striping in um, red and uh, blue. The nice um, shoulder patches. It's actually a lot like the 2016 Barcelona shirt, except it looks better. It looks a lot like this one. It even has the shadow striping on there, but it looks a whole lot better, in my opinion. It's an absolute beauty with the Macron logos, and it does something that Barcelona would not do anymore. White applications. The logos are in white, the sponsor is in white. And I actually pity that a little bit because I think it will look very, very well on Barcelona if they uh, would use white as well. Don't give, see this color entirely to Real Madrid. Use white. I think a uh, Barcelona jersey with um, white sponsor, white numbers would look actually quite well. They had did this in the early 90s and it looked uh, well. Funny side note for Barcelona, they used to have white away jerseys. Uh, before the 80s. Just let that sink in. But going back to the Levante jersey, I absolutely love this jersey. This is such a classic look. Um, I even love the crest with the owl on there. Uh, no, no, not owl, the uh, bat. Getting my nighttime creatures um, <laughs> messed. It, it, it is a classic 90s look. And that's what I love about it. Absolute beautiful jersey, uh, number nine. 
Number eight is Dynamo Kiev away. There's not much to this New Balance jersey. And it, yes, it is weird that uh, Dynamo Kiev is not playing in Adidas. Uh, but New Balance did a really good job in making a kit that reminds me instantly of the 70s, maybe 80s, just a plain blue with a short collar and this triangle inset. It reeks of um, classic look. And I, I absolutely loved it. You just have the um, uh, Kiev crest on there. Uh, simple and beautiful. It's right out of the 60s, 70s, maybe 80s a little bit, but more 60s, 70s. And I love that look. I love the simple look and it's a great job that New Balance did there. Number seven. I have the jersey. Ta-ta! Is the Belgium home jersey worn at the World Cup where they made it all the way to third place. Uh, really, really like that one from the moment I saw it. Yes, it has some flaws, namely that the red is a little bit disappearing and you know, maybe there could have been stuff done better. I don't necessarily like the number being below here, but uh, when they put the match details up here, it was really pretty. It's an absolute beauty. Uh, this shirt, I absolutely love it. Uh, I, I, I absolutely love it. It made me buy a Belgium shirt. I'm a Dutch fan. Uh, Belgium is just it's a great shirt, and I was very happy to have it. I especially like on this jersey that the stripes on the right, uh, on the sides, are in a slightly darker red tone, so you don't really see them. Uh, gives it a very classic look. Again, it was inspired by the 1984 uh, Belgium. Uh, home jersey, um, which I honestly was not aware of. This here to me is of this all, all the Adidas jerseys at the World Cup and many that were issued were kind of with a retro feel. This was the best version of that one. Really, really like this jersey. Number six, another one that I absolutely love. And uh, if you saw my top 10 UEFA Nations League jerseys, you know. Uh, which one it will be, that's the Slovenia away jersey. The dark blue with the light blue Triglav mountain shape on there, ah, it just gets me every time I see it. This is the Slovenia jersey I want to have. I was close-ish to buying the 2012 home jersey, which has the same shape, but you know it's with uh, white, um, it's with uh, blue, white, green. This just looks so much better. This really is an absolute beauty. If the crest was just a coat of arms, that would top it off to make it an all-time great jersey for me for Slovenia. But it's still, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jersey that I wish I had in my collection. I hope that maybe a few years down the, down the road I will get it for a lot cheaper than I would uh, get, get it now. Absolute gorgeous jersey. It hits me right. The colors are the right colors uh, with the dark blue and the light blue. The pattern is unique. It has this slight cross fade in there, which um, I usually don't like fades as much, but here it just fits perfectly. Uh, it's not this uh, strict geometric pattern. It is a little bit more organic. Absolutely beautiful. Number five. Well, <sighs> Let's stick in the Nations League. This was the Northern Ireland home shirt. Uh, Northern Ireland should wear this forever. This look, the simple green jersey with just the fold over uh, neck, the short neck. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just green. Uh, I cannot tell you how much I love it. Yes, it's again, uh, many will say maybe a lot more of a boring jersey. If you are looking for uh, crazy jerseys here, um, you won't find it many because I like a classic uh, looking shirt more than I like a crazy look. Slovenia maybe got away with it. We'll see some others, but uh, generally if something looks like it's right of the 60s or 70s, it uh, has a good chance of, uh, for me to be high up in, on this list. And this Northern Ireland shirt screams 80s with the pinstriping uh, that's very subtle in there. Um, the only thing maybe Make the front of the color north green and white, but white and I wouldn't couldn't help myself for buying that one. It really, I mean, I'm I'm very, I'm really wanting to have this one. I really, really would like to have this one. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, and the Northern Ireland jersey has one uh, positive over the Ireland jersey that it's sold without a sponsor. And I know, I, you, I actually like the green on the Ireland jerseys, uh, especially lately a lot better. And also there's a little bit orange in there. But um, this Northern Ireland jersey, mwah, love it. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Number four, back to club jerseys. And I always have a soft spot for Roma jerseys. And the current Roma home kit is no different. Is it my favorite Roma home kit? Probably not. It's maybe too much of this uh, um, new Daiki uh, collar style. Uh, although it doesn't have this weird fake shirt collar, it actually is quite round, so it's nice. But I like the way the colors are. You have the dark red of Roma, which is always gorgeous. Do I have one here? Yes, here is my Roma shirt. This color combination is an absolute killer for me. And that you have now this color around the collar accents it nicely, but that wouldn't be enough to put it on this list. What puts this shirt on top of me is the chain mail application on there that you don't see unless you're up close. And why chain mail? Roman soldiers. Ah, I love Roman history. I have been watching a lot of Roman history uh, videos lately. And just this connection with the city of Rome. Uh, and and it is here his history just put me over the top. Uh, I have to say I pull it really high because I like it. I don't necessarily want to buy it, but I absolutely love this jersey. I absolutely love this jersey. Uh, actually, and it might be contradictory. The Roma jersey of this season that I want to have is the third jersey, the yellow one, because that's a color I, I don't have yet. And. Um, yeah, it might be a contradiction. I actually think if you ask me this year, there were some great jerseys, but it was not overall a year where I say I need to have many, many jerseys. Uh, that I gotta say as well. So, honorable mentions. Um, Slovakia, the new home kit, dark blue one. It's a lot like the France kit, but I love this pattering on there and there's a little bit more red on there. So yeah. Ah, it's, a, it's just a great look, looking kit, another one that I would like to have. Um, one that you might not expect and I have not covered uh, in any way is the Stuttgart 125th anniversary kit, which is a pretty much exact replica of the first kit that Stuttgart ever wore, just with modern applications. Um, you have plain white jersey with the red chest band and then there is this... Um, a yellow circle with the three antlers in there. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the uh, current Stuttgart crest has uh, similar stuff. And what really, really, really is nice in addition is that the sponsor Mercedes is on there. And I actually love that Mercedes sponsors Stuttgart because um, they are from Stuttgart. Is on there, but it's ghosted here, and the Puma logo is ghosted here to make an absolutely gorgeous look with the old style color. Uh, fantastic, fantastic shirt. Also, all the Stuttgart shirts this year look great. I especially like the third jersey, uh, which is black and yellow, with a yellow band and then a horse coming is also a great shirt. Um, Brazil, the away jersey for the World Cup. Um, I love the blue uh, away jerseys for Brazil and the one and having the five stars pattern on there and also using yellow as an accent with slightly green on there um, I think is a pretty darn sharp shirt um, looks really great uh, absolutely love that one another one let's go back to club teams Manchester City away um, this just hits me color wise on the right spot it's the navy with the um, uh, light blue like the Uruguay shirt that I'm wearing here and green uh, striping um, there is just something about it that I love a lot about this shirt. I don't love City, but if I get a City shirt, that mm, is pretty much near the top of my list, I gotta say. And then, of course, how can I forget uh, a jersey that I really wanna have but have not gotten yet around to it because it was either too expensive. Yeah, it was mostly still too expensive. It's the Nigeria home jersey. I know it is insane. But this jersey got such a hype around it that I actually need to have it. And I want to have a Nigeria shirt, honestly. Uh, this is one of the African teams that I always liked. 
and you know you have this weird zigzag pattern i don't necessarily like the black uh, on the shoulders that looks a little bit uh, weird to me uh if that was yeah i don't know if that was green as well i think i would like it better but it's still a great looking shirt uh very unique uh shirt that yeah if i can get it i will i would like to have that one and now the top three and i gotta say all three of these i'm longing to have number three the new zealand black away jersey now i would imagine many of you have not seen this one uh, i put it here on the um on the side it's just gorgeous black and then the pattern is the silver fern which is already used um uh, all as the crest the classic uh, new zealand um symbol but having here on the on, on the shoulders it just is gorgeous beyond belief the jersey i mean new zealand i actually at the home jerseys are white and they have a silvery application there which doesn't look as great on the white jerseys and i actually wish that they would go the rugby band also don't be the all whites just be the all blacks as well uh by the way rugby world cup is coming up uh next year looking forward to that one this new zealand shirt is an absolute beauty i have a rugby shirt uh new zealand uh rock, rock, rugby shirt, which is black with the um, uh silver fern on there i really love this i would love to have this one as my as a home shirt uh, as an away shirt for new zealand this application or just absolute wonderful jersey number two you thought there's only one roman team no both roman teams the roma rome derby uh is probably the best looking game this year the lazio home shirt with the eagle on there uh talk about roman history uh this has been used twice before i think um and i'm glad it came back um and starting in the new year this will be without sponsor I hope, unless they make a new sponsorship deal. Uh, without sponsor, it just looks gorgeous, I have to say. The light blue always gets me, but then having the navy eagle that extends over to the sleeve on there and then the top white, I know it looks uh, maybe a little strange, but this is such a gorgeous look. And the eagle is not just any eagle, this is from the Roman legions. They had a similar eagle on there. I'm not... I really, I'm, I'm a Rome. I, I, Roma is my second favorite team in Italy. But this Lazio shirt, I really would like to have this one. It is just too gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful jersey. I need this in my collection. Need this. I really need to have this one. Now, what will be the number one? My number one is the China Black away jersey and let me pause for a second i always wanted to have a china shirt but i never got one that really i never saw one that looked really nice i mean maybe there was an adidas one that had the wall on there um but you know it never really connected with me now um and when i was in china they had this where is it? My... No, I don't have Sweden. The Adidas style with the venting. This was in 2003. Uh, but what I got back then is and what really um, I really enjoyed is was this silk vest. With uh, This is uh, the, uh, the imperial symbol. This is not a dragon. I would have loved to have this one in dragon. And now China puts out a jersey. Black with dragons all over. And I even like the, okay, I call it vaults, the neon uh, yellow applications. This is an absolute, absolute beauty. And it's hard to get. You, uh, I wish to have this one, but it's almost impossible to get this shirt. I need to get this shirt somehow. And I want it not for 200 or 300 bucks. I want this for a normal price. Why is it so hard to get? Well, the Chinese Federation has rejected it. And therefore, you don't get it. It also breaks my rule. I only want to have shirts in this top 10 that actually are worn. And unfortunately, it looks like this is not worn. So, 
scrap that one. My number one jersey won the World Cup. <laughs> I'm cheating? No, I'm not. Um, maybe I am a little bit. This one is, uh, I only rated with eight stars, but for me, this is my number one jersey for a few reasons. First of all, it won the World Cup. Second of all, uh, this is probably at the moment one of the nicest crests around. Look at the stitching here. Look at the stitching, how beautiful this is done. Um, I love the dark color with the uh, lighter blue. By, by the way, this is the replica version. The player version has a much lighter blue and it's much more in your face. And I honestly have to say, I like this one a little bit better. I would like to have the player version too. Don't get me wrong. And the last one, I bought this, the World Cup winning shirt, and I keep repeating it, ahead of the World Cup, on sale for 50 euro, euros. This is the buy for me of the year. You don't get uh, the shirt of a world, of the future world champion that cheap. You don't get this one now for that cheap, I would say. Uh, it still has the one star, and for that one I like it. Uh, I bought many shirts, but this is the one, I mean, uh, this is still the probably the most expensive 2018 shirt that I bought. All the others I bought on sale, like the Uruguay, England and Belgium. So this one is slightly more expensive, but for that one I love it. So as much as I would like the China shirt to be number one, my number one is the France 2018 shirt. It won the World Cup, cannot argue with that one, best shirt of the year. I and. It's a clear sign when I'm ahead of the World Cup, I pick one shirt to have. And even if I don't rate it high, I always said this France shirt, that's the one that I want to have. And then I got it and I got it for cheap. Ish. I think it uh, probably could still, if I manage, could still have gotten a little bit cheaper. But I got it for cheap ish. Um, there's a clear sign. And it's also the one that I've been wearing the most this year. So there you go. My number one jersey for this year. France, home, 2018. But that China shirt is really, really great. Well, let me know what your top 10 jerseys of this year are. I'm sure you will disagree with my list. And uh, that's all the fun about it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel right around here. If you want to see more like this. And also check out the playlists that I'm posting here. Uh, with other Jersey and top 10 videos and I will talk to you soon. Bye